The first course we played on the trip was Royal Lynx, a replica course. Uh, 18 holes from great courses in Scotland and Great Britain. First time I played a replica course myself. I've played a couple. For me, I'm usually uh, predisposed to not like these kinds of courses because the holes aren't original. And yet, when you play Royal Lynx, especially if you've played some of the real holes in the British Isles, you just can't help having a great time. I mean, you've got the revetted bunkers, always fun to see your opponent get in one of those bunkers, have to come out of it sideways. We were lucky enough to have a, a brisk wind blowing that felt a lot like the British Isles. Right, and we both played, I think I played 10 holes original. You were up to 11, I had 11. I and uh, the numbers don't correspond necessarily, but here the eighth hole is the same as the eighth hole at Royal Troon, the postage stamp hole, which the first time I played it in Scotland, I screwed up completely. But here, I screwed it up completely. <laughs> <laughs> I, liked, uh, I liked number 10 a lot, the road hole. Unfortunately, no St. Andrews Old Course Hotel, but they've got a billboard set up on the corner, and if you want to cut that corner like you do on the real hole, you just hit it over the billboard, and then you have the road hole bunker to look forward to next to the green. You need a rope and a ladder to get down in it. My only disappointment of the whole day was that none of the other guys hit it in there. And uh, the question is, you know, is it really an uh, exact replica? I think it's more of a sense memory than anything. Of course, you know, do I remember the 15th hole at St. Andrews? Not exactly, but here it feels like the real thing, except maybe the surrounds, which were more Americanized. You couldn't really putt from the fringe as much. Right. You know, unlike some of the actual courses, this course could play as long as 7,000 yards, which is a monster, especially in the wind. But for higher handicapped golfers, you play from a forward set of tees, and you've got some challenging blind shots. You've got shots that have to be hit high over bunkers. You've, you've got a lot of stuff built into it that even at a shorter length makes it a great challenge. And the ball will run out on the fairly closely cropped fairways and just like the real thing, you get up to your ball and find out you're in a deep bunker. One of the great extras at Royal Lynx, this yardage book they put together, decorated with tartan plaids. There's a list in the back of the Open Championship winners from 1860 to the present. It's got a little historical uh, tidbit or description of all the golf holes. Well, we happened to arrive at a time in Las Vegas where it was quite chilly. Uh, we were wearing three or four layers, again, like the real thing in Scotland, but that's not normally the conditions you have here. You could feel the uh, cool breeze coming off the North Sea, and uh, winter or shoulder season is a great time to come and experience a course like this, because instead of it being really hot in the summer, and you trying to get this feeling of British Isles courses, you get the real thing. You get a stiff breeze blowing. Uh, we had some cloud cover, a few sprinkles, all of the weather that makes the British Isles a great destination for golf.